Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to connect Airtable to N810. It's super simple and quick, so let's get started. So you see here we have just a manual trigger and an Airtable node. So let's click on the Airtable node here. And what we need to do to connect it is set up some credentials. So if we click on here and click on Create New Credentials, we come to this page and here we have two choices. One is to connect via access token and the other one is OAuth. Now the simpler method and the one we're going to be using here is access tokens so let's go back or not go back but let's go over to Airtable and here you see I have a base and a table and just a column here with the names for testing purposes now to create the access token you need to go over to Airtable.com slash create slash tokens and now it redirects us to the Airtable Builder Hub and here you under developers personal access tokens we now have this page here where we can create our tokens and I, as i don't have any tokens at the moment i only have this empty page and this button here to create tokens so let's click on that and here we can now create a token the first thing is to give it our a name i'm just going to call this n810 and after that we're also going to give the token scopes so scopes is basically uh permissions or what you're allowed to do on Airtable with these tokens. And to know the minimum scopes, we're gonna go back to N8N here, and you see that it tells us here three scopes that it wants as a minimum, data records read, data records write, and schema basis read. So we're gonna enable these three scopes at a minimum. Let's go back here and click on add scope, and here we have data records read, data records write, and you can also see below the name here of the scope, what it actually allows you to do. So this allows you to create, edit, and delete records in your Airtable. And then the third one was Bay, what was it? Schema basis read. So now we have the three minimum scopes. Now the next step is to add a base. So here we select which basis this uh, person access token can act upon. So here I have not just two bases, so I'm going to choose the Digispoose one. Now this means that with this access token from any then I will only be allowed to manipulate this base, no other base in my Airtable uh, account. Okay, now we have all we need here. So we're gonna click on create token and we now get our access token. So we're gonna copy this. Now this is not gonna appear again, so you might want to save this somewhere safe. So I copy that. Now I'm gonna go over to N8 then here and I'm gonna paste this token in here. Like so click on save. And we get this connection connection tested successfully. Green message here. So it looks good. And now here we should be able to choose or select our Airtable base and uh, table that we want to work on. So I'm going to choose from this here. You can also do it by URL or ID. And you see now it found my base here. I'm also going to choose the table. And here we have the only table. Okay, should not open that, so choose the only table here. Okay, great. Uh, if you go back to your table here, you see that I only have one column with name, so I'm gonna test the connection now by just adding something here. It already also, uh, it found that column for us automatically here. So I'm gonna just write my name here and click on test step. Now let's go back to your table and you can see that it added my name here. So everything works. We have now successfully connected your table to N810. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please subscribe, like, so you don't miss out on any future automation and AI videos. And until next time, have a nice day.